This day marks the departure of Anbapijimi, the anchorite. He was a native of Fisha, diocese of Mesil. When he was 12 years old and while he was tending to his father's sheep, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in the form of a young man. The angel told him, let us go to the wilderness for you to become a monk. Abba Pijimi agreed and went with him to the desert of Cetus, to a place where three elder monks dwelt. The angel handed him to them, then disappeared. St. Pijimi enjoyed the life of the wilderness. He lived among them for 24 years until they all departed. Subsequently, Amba Pijimi left that place and went into the inner desert, a distance of three days' travel. The devils appeared to him in the form of wild beasts, pigs, and serpents. They surrounded the saint to devour him, but he was able to recognize their vices by the spirit. He prayed to God and vanished all of them. He lived in that place for three years. He fasted a week at a time, and he ate a handful of dates and drank a little water to, to the point that his skin cleaved to his bones. He reached a high level of spirituality. At the end of the three years, the angel of the Lord appeared to him and commanded him to return to his hometown. Abba Pijimi obeyed and returned back and built outside it a small hut. He dwelt there alone, devoting himself to worshiping and asceticism. He became a good model and a good example to everyone who came to see him. The people of his hometown came to be nourished with his profound spiritual teachings. One day, the great saint Abba Shenouda, the arch Mandarite, saw a shining pillar and heard a voice saying, This is Abba Pijimi, the anchorite. Abba Shenouda went to him, and they recognized each other by divine guidance. Abba Shenouda visited him for a few days, then returned to his monastery. When the days of his repose from this world drew near, he called his disciple and informed him of the departure and commanded him to bury his body in the place where he dwelt. He fell ill and he saw a company of saints had come to them. Then he delivered up his pure soul into the hand of the Lord. The angels carried his soul up to the heaven while chanting hymns. The blessing of his prayers be with us all men. On this day also St. Abtelmos was martyred. He was native of Dendera, west of Kenna. He was only a child to his parents who raised him up in a true Christian upbringing and reared him up on the ecstatical ethics. When he became a young man, he met St. Paphnoti, the anchorite, in the mountains of his, this area. He advised him to go to Encina to an ascetic father called Dorotheos. He foretold him about the tribulations that he will face and encouraged him to endure them. When he came to Anba Dorotheos, he advised him to go to the city of Encina, confess the, the Lord Christ to receive the crown of martyrdom. St. Abtelmos entered the city and confessed the Lord Christ before the governor. He suffered many tortures, which he en endured patiently. Finally, the governor ordered to hang him up on a high mast. Then one of the soldiers stabbed him in the neck, so he delivered up his soul and received the crown of life. The faithful carried his pure body and buried him with great veneration. When the era of persecution ended, they built a church, relocated his pure body to it, and many signs were manifested from his relics. The blessing of his prayer be with us all. Amen. Also on this day, the church celebrates the commemoration of the consecration of the Church of the Martyr, St. Claudius, the son of Ptolemy, who was Emperor Numerianus' brother. This church is located in the city of Bakur, district of Abu Taig, a Siut governorate. This church still exists till present time. The account of his martyrdom is mentioned under the 11th day of the month of Baon. The blessing of his prayers be with us all and glory be to God forever.